What's up, everybody? It's Terry back, Nashville Fit Magazine, and I am in Murfreesboro at Gold's Gym with Dave. Yes, Dave. How do you say your last name? Botter. Botter. Dave Botter. I almost said Bowler. It's it's just, okay. I mean, it's I not. I answered the answer. It's not, and everybody says that, but I screw this up all the time. I got to move on with my jokes too. By the way, I'm gonna start putting name tag right there. <laughs> <laughs> David, I appreciate you making time for us for this interview today. Thank you. Um, and I'm interested to hear your story. We got connected via email um, by a, a mutual friend, Correct. and you've got quite the story to tell. And I don't know exactly where to start. So you start with, uh, you were a pastor for a time, and Anyways. are you, uh, now you're retired and you're a trainer. Correct. So get us there, Okay. and then we'll go back to some of your other story that I want to share. I was a worship pastor for 10 years, and then a worship pastor and senior pastor for 15 years. Just retired about a year and a half ago. Oh, wow. Um, but I've been in church music for, but before that, I was in rock and roll, and I was in that lifestyle as well. So there was a real transformation coming from one world to the next world uh, ministry. But uh, yeah, I, I've always been kind of a gym rat, really enjoyed it. And uh, it was a, a great transition coming from being a pastor and helping people that way sure. to being a trainer and helping people that way. Yeah, that's really cool. So you've been a trainer, what, you said for about four years? I've been training here for four years, right. So what does your clientele look like uh, these days? Like, what, you get a mix of people? 13 to 80. Oh, wow. 13 to 80. Uh, some special needs. Um, I have a great, great variety of clients. I got some folks that just are busting it out and they're getting shredded. I've got some folks that just need to, you know, need to get healthy. And then I've got some folks that just need the socialization and just need to, to be part of something. That's, yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's what that's how we connect with folks, right? <laughs> like, uh, can you speak to how faith and how um, even, you know, physical fitness and health has helped you, like, pulled away from some of the past stuff that I've you've dealt with. You mentioned being in, uh, having addiction, drugs and alcohol. So how does that, like, how does that play into your story, if at all? Well, I've, I had a real struggle with alcohol. I was, I was kind of a fall down drunk, and I spent a lot of years abusing all sorts of drugs and really kind of ended up uh, very strongly addicted to cocaine and, and that kind of thing. Um, and my faith is what got me out of that. Yeah. Uh, I actually started going from the rock and roll world, looking at the Christian music world, thinking that it was safer. Sure. Uh, and when I did, God just didn't let me compromise. He didn't let me fake it. And so if I was going to begin, I had to be all in. And one night, he actually miraculously healed me of alcohol. It was a, it was a, Come to Jesus meeting, he was taught. Yeah. And uh, I ended just put a bottle of Jack Daniels away, never had a taste for it after that. So it was very interesting. And that, that communicates here because um, I have a I have a verse for the week every week for my clients. I don't force it on them, but so many of them come in, what's the verse for the week? What's the verse for the week? And uh, just coming in and living out your faith. You know, you don't have to shove your face down people's throats. You just live it out in front of them day by day. Yeah. Care about them, yeah. you know. They don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Sure. And so I really enjoyed getting to know my clients and, and getting to know them. I've had some clients that have been with me for years. I've had my, I actually had my first client I've ever had still with me. And now I'm training her at her dog. That's great. So it's, it's me. Yeah, I, I love that part. That's a... Uh... That's pretty amazing. Um, so your clients and your like, I just I don't know I love the whole the holistic aspect of it. And you were talking about health and your faith, and you actually had a battle with cancer. I did. Tell me about that. Like when did this happen in your story here? Oh, I'm actually seven years clear. Okay. So it happened about seven years ago, and uh, I just was at the doctor one time for cold low bronchitis and. They felt around and said, something doesn't feel right. And uh, I ended up with tonsillar cancer. And uh, so I went through surgery, chemo, radiation. And at that time, prior to that, I'd been working with a wonderful trainer by the name of Jack Porter, who really got me interested in training. Yes. Uh, because he trained me and took me from 245 pounds 
down to 180 and, and real definition and, and, and real muscle tone. Uh, but after I had my cancer, I went down to 150. Yeah. And he brought me back. So I saw the value of just what training can do and what diet can do. Yeah. That's cool. That's amazing. I mean, people need to hear that too. Like, uh, it can be a disconnect when you when you're dealing with something that's life-threatening or uh, that's a crazy illness like that, your first inclination is to pull away um, from some of the things that you would, that would keep you healthy or that will uh, bring you that quality of life. So that's really cool. I mean, it's a cool transformation. I, I couldn't wait to get back into yeah. the I really couldn't. I know I was coming to hear this little skinny, strong guy again, and uh, but I couldn't wait to get back. It's, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. It's a lifestyle. My wife and I just went on a cruise. We love to cruise. We have a great time together, yeah. kind of reconnect. But uh, I'm in the gym up in the ship every day just because it's a lifestyle. I I, I don't feel right without it. Sure, sure. You know? Man, that's preaching to me because that's what I do. <laughs> it's like, it's where I go. I mean, for me, it's where I go. I know there's a lot of people that are maybe listening to this. It's similar to them. And maybe some people that are watching don't really have that connection to the gym yet. The... Uh, so it, it can be, it can be therapy oh, absolutely. in that way. Like it's a, it's an outlet for pain and hurt. Um, it's a great place to get energized. It's a great place to just disconnect work. Mm. Uh, I've actually come out of some workouts, if not all of them, with a new idea or a new way to do something that I, that's been in my head to get done. Oh, so I love that. I love that inspiration. Uh, I love too when clients come in, and I always ask, you know, how was your day? And sometimes they're honest and they'll go in really lousy. Yeah. And I love watching them as they come in and then after they've got the endorphins going and, and they've done a good week out, see the change and then when they go yeah. out. It really makes a big difference. It does. And that, yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, when you, so I want you to talk for a moment to the audience watching. Okay. Um, and I want you to like leave them with something. Which maybe you got somebody who's watching this who's on the on the proverbial fence, right? Yeah. They're on the couch and they don't feel fit enough to work yeah. out. They yeah. don't feel self confident. They feel like they'll come into the gym and feel ashamed. Right. What would you say, Cameron? Do this for me. Okay. What would you say to that individual? What I would say to that individual is really consider making the step, taking the step, and coming and start training. I highly advise getting a trainer because they will take you step by step. But really, there is no age that's too old. I'm 67, I'm gonna be 68. I have clients that are 80 years old that are doing just a wonderful job. They're getting healthy, they're getting stronger, they're getting their balance back. I've got 13-year-old clients who are just coming into their bodies and, 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 and finding their strengths. So do it. Don't just sit around, don't sit on the beanbag chair eating Cheetos. Come out and do it. Get yourself a trainer, bite the bullet, pay for a trainer, come in and really see the change in your life. It's all about diet, exercise, and cardio. Diet, weightlifting, and cardio. Those three things, if you do those, you will see a huge transformation in your body, in your spirit, and in your mind. There it is, right there. Can't fight that, right? <laughs> Uh, Dave, tell people how they can find you. Are you on, online? You on Instagram? Is there email? Is there a website? Um, they can they can get me through Gold's Gym. Okay. I train exclusively here at Gold's Gym. Uh, they call me Mean Grandpa. <laughs> that was one of my clients. I was taking them through a, a hit routine, yeah. and they were just sweating. <laughs> they looked up from doing something and said, "You are a mean grandpa," <laughs> and it well. stuck. It stuck. But I'm here at Gold's Gym, Murfreesboro North. Um, so you can just contact the gym. I work exclusively for them, yeah. and uh, I'm training. I'm training about 60 sessions a week. But right now, I've got some openings, and would love to, you know, have you come in and and do a consultation. I'd be glad to just give you a free workout, let you see what it's all about. And no matter, you might think that you can't do this. I'm I'm too old. Uh, I'm not fit enough. I've got this. I've got that. You come in and you do it, you'd be surprised what you can do right off the bat, how much weight you can move right off the bat. So come and do it. Yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, don't be afraid. Bite the bullet, like Dave said. I love that. Um, I'm going to come train with him because just bringing the energy and 
It's got some years on me, huh? Making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, we appreciate you being here. Guys, uh, you know where to go to find Dave, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it, bro. That's awesome. Thank you.